I've been using LinkedIn for years now. I have 13,000 followers and thousands of connections, and I didn't use LinkedIn Premium to achieve that. But should I have? And should I get LinkedIn Premium now to grow my audience even more? In this video, I'll share some thoughts and considerations on whether I should sign up for a LinkedIn Premium account. Plus, as part of my research, I found some ways to get LinkedIn Premium for free as well. So be sure to watch the video all the way through. Note that this video is from the viewpoint of an individual job seeker. Recruiters and sales folks might want a premium subscription for different reasons, and that'll wait for another video. We'll take a look at LinkedIn premium features and some ways you can work around them if you don't want to get premium, and I'll share some ways to get LinkedIn premium for free. Hi, my name is Luki, and I create educational videos for jobs, careers, and life. If you're looking for some practical tips, advice, and lessons, subscribe to stay up to date. Now let's get on with the video. LinkedIn has a lot of features, though they've steadily been introducing restrictions to entice folks to subscribe to their premium edition. For those that have been using those features, then that feature gets removed or limited, that can be quite annoying. Though, at the end of the day, LinkedIn was providing it to you for free, so you can't really fault them for finding ways to fund themselves. Search result limits and personalized connection message limits seem to be the two biggest features where restrictions have enticed job seekers to get a premium subscription. Let's start with searching specifically searching for people on LinkedIn. When I started using LinkedIn, it had unlimited search capabilities. You could search for as many connections as you wanted, as many times as you want. Then LinkedIn started restricting your searches to the top three results, then blurred out the others. As of this video, that limit is about 300 people per month, though that could change. That's a reasonably good amount as you could search for one page of search results every day for a month. Something interesting to note was that even when desktop searching was restricted, searching on the mobile app was not. So if you're finding that your favorite feature is now behind the paywall on the desktop app, take a look to see if it's available on the mobile app. Nowadays, it seems like the restrictions are done on both at the same time, though you might get lucky. By the way, these limits reset on the first of the month. If you're a casual searcher, the limits are not a big deal, though this can be a huge factor for those just starting out on their job search especially if you don't specifically know what companies or roles that you're looking for. Lots of searching means that you'll hit those limits quickly. So search restrictions can be a helpful reason to get premium, especially if you're just starting your job search or figuring out what career path you want. Another important feature on LinkedIn is messaging. Messaging is typically restricted to only your connections. LinkedIn allows you to message a few people for free using their in-mail feature. As of this post, you get about three messages a month. Once you're connected, you can message freely. Then LinkedIn made connecting just a little bit harder. LinkedIn uses a concept called degrees of connection. The people you're connected with are your first degrees. If you're not connected to someone, but someone you are connected to is, that's your second degree. And if you take one, two, three hops, that's your third degree. A few years ago, for third level connections and beyond, LinkedIn put the connect feature under the more button, and it made it as an extra step so that you'd have to poke around in order for you to connect with someone. But LinkedIn also found that many folks weren't accepting connections, so you were allowed to send a personalized connection message with your connection request. And that was essentially your first message for free. And that's what I did for years, and it worked great. You would send a personalized connection request and people would be more likely to accept. As of November, 2023, LinkedIn introduced limits for personalized connection messages. As of this video, you're allowed about 10 per month. This seems to be a sore point for many folks as those personalized messages are really important to improve your acceptance rate. Why? Without a connection message, it's equivalent to going up to someone at an in-person networking event, tapping them on the shoulder and just waving. Was that a bit awkward? Another way to message someone without being connected is to ask a connection, let's call them connection A to create a group chat with another connection, and let's call them connection B. That assumes that connection A is connected to connection B, and they've built a strong enough relationship where connection A is willing to set up that group chat. Connection A sets up a group chat with you, them, and connection B, and now you can message connection B. You don't need a personalized connection message as the group chat did that already. Other than more searching and messaging, a few other features are analytics, who has viewed your profile, AI, where they're starting to add new functionality and a badge where it shows people that you paid for a premium. Yay. And that's about it. If you do want to get LinkedIn premium, 
consider a free one month trial first. But before doing that, if you're finding this video helpful, then why not join the Focus Inspired Academy, which is your gym for career confidence. Go deeper into these concepts and get group coaching to help. Check the link in the description box below for a free one month trial for supporting the channel. You can use the hashtag LinkedIn Premium or Plus One Pledge to find people that might be giving away premium licenses. Keep in mind that many of these are time sensitive, as in their limited time offers, and may be gone in a day or even in a matter of hours. So if you're really set on getting free months, you should be active in monitoring them. Some of the licenses are provided by LinkedIn employees, some by non-LinkedIn employees. So make sure to have your guard up for scams. Make sure that you're getting a coupon versus giving them your login credentials or other sensitive information. Plus, keep in mind that if you've already done a free one month subscription or are currently on a premium plan, these options might not be available to you. Another way to get free months is if you know someone with premium, you can ask them to refer you and you'll get two months instead of just one. How do you know if they have LinkedIn premium? Take a look for the gold LinkedIn logo on their profile. There's a limit for referrals as well. And as of this video, they can refer 10 people every 12 months. If you're a veteran serving in the US military or a spouse of someone in the military or veteran, then LinkedIn has a program where you can get 12 months for free as well. Unfortunately, that's only available for the US military service. And you can reach out to your military service for how to get that. Also note that some companies offer LinkedIn premium for free. Since we're taking the job seeker vantage point, that's not particularly useful. But if you have a spouse or a family member or a friend that has company access to LinkedIn premium, perhaps you can ask them to do some extra searching and connecting on your behalf. Just saying. Also, apparently journalists, editors, and news media folks can also get LinkedIn for free through an application process, which includes something like a webinar or being part of a LinkedIn journalist group, though the URL seems to be blocked for me, so I can't validate that. Apparently that application process is either quarterly or semi-annually, so perhaps the application window just wasn't open when I checked. Plus, if you've already done the trial, you can sometimes get a free month if you try and cancel your subscription. Though it depends on whether or not LinkedIn has that feature or that promotion enabled. Keep in mind that if you sign up for a trial, make sure to allocate the time to use it. What I mean by that is you should be planning to search and connect with as many people as you can during that time. Now back to the question. Should I sign up for LinkedIn premium? I think I will. Though I'll probably give it a trial first and perhaps look for some LinkedIn employees to build meaningful connections with as well. Remember to share this video with a friend and let me know if you have any questions or what you're struggling with in your job search or career and feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on jobs, careers, and life. And YouTube recommends that you check out these videos next. Until next time, be focused and stay inspired.